This is an overview of our cloud subscription manager. This is gonna be a multi-part video. For this part, we're gonna be purchasing a subscription. In the next video, we'll actually be doing something with that subscription. So we're gonna start off by jumping to our cloud services portal. We're starting out on our services page first. And we wanna click on launch service underneath our vRealize cloud subscription manager. If for some reason you're seeing request access, just walk through that workflow to request access for your environment. I'm gonna click on launch service. This will most likely start you off on the usage page. If we have a license, we can see, well, how are we using it in the environment? To purchase a license, I wanna click on subscriptions. And if we have any subscriptions already here, we would see them listed. In the upper right-hand corner, I'm gonna click on create subscription. We're starting out with our services. And for right now, we've got two different options, but this will most likely change in the future. For this video, we'll be focusing on our vRealize Cloud, Universal, On-Prem, and Cloud offering. So I'm gonna go and click on it, and then go ahead and click on Next. For our seller, we have two different options. We've got VMware and we have AWS. And your account team can help you determine which is the best offering, but either one of those will work for cloud and on-prem. For this video, I'm gonna choose VMware and click on Next. For addition, we just have one option at the time of this recording that'll most likely expand in the future. And the pricing for it will also most likely change over time. Just reach out to your account team to get the latest pricing information. I'm gonna choose Enterprise and then click on Next. We can then pick our quantity for CPU and how long. By default, it's one CPU and two years. We can increment that up to maybe three if we want to and choose a different term, whatever works for your environment. Now that we've picked them, let's go ahead and review our order, make sure everything is correct before clicking to proceed to checkout. After you review your purchase order, you may need to link your My VMware account to this purchase order. In that case, you'd put your email address in there, put your password in there, and that would link your account to this. Once that's done, we can then choose our payment method. We've already pre-populated our payment method in there, but if you're not seeing it, we can click on the change payment method at the bottom and then add a new payment. I'm gonna click on cancel and we'll click on confirm purchase. If for some reason you do see a timeout issue, this is a time sensitive process. Just go back through those steps. When I was recording this video, it did time out of me. So I had to go back through the process and walk through the steps and then click on confirm purchase. Okay, now that we're back at our subscriptions, we can see our, our subscriptions are listed. At this point, let's go actually go verify our license. I'm gonna head back over to our cloud services console, and this is where we're wrapping up this video. I'm gonna click on our VMware cloud on AWS and click on launch service. From there, I'll click on subscriptions, and we can see we've got two subscriptions listed. I walked through this process twice to make sure everything was correct, but we can see our quantity is three for C three CPUs, so we know that's our most recent purchase or the one we just went through. So at this point, I think we're at a good place to wrap up this part of the video. We did a really brief overview of our cloud subscription manager. We walked through the process on how to purchase a subscription. In the next video, we'll talk about what we can actually do with that subscription. I hope you found this video informative. I'd like to thank you for watching.